Motorsport is popular all over Australia. But north of Perth, it's the Bindoon dirt drags that have grabbed our attention. Now, I understand um, you used to run a rock concert here for many years ago. Yeah, absolutely. We run the Bindoon Rock, and this is a former Bindoon Rock site. Um, after we finish, our uh, club finished and running that, us younger guys took on the dirt drags and the last 16 years we've run with that. Now what we've done is we've uh, implemented a burnout competition. Uh, some ballistics real good at it and basically we built a burnout pad for him and he invited all his mates. <laughs> You've got a lot of them too, I've seen them queuing up for a long time. We've got 100 cars here today, most of it I think the least we've ever had is about 80 cars. So it's actually a good problem to have that many cars here, but yeah, the popularity of burnout's just grown hugely in Western Australia, so we sort of grabbed all of that and, and run with that as well, as Dirt Drags has as well. So how hard is it to make that safe? I mean, obviously with a car spinning around like that, you need to have protection for the crowd. That's right, our insurance says we've got like, the safety things so that we actually go above and beyond what we're supposed to have, obviously for our own protection and for the protection of the people that come here. No, no one wants to come here and get hurt, and no one in the state has got as safe and stuff as we've we got here. Uh, Tony, this is your first time at Bindoon. What's your impression? Oh, look, it's great. Unfortunately, I've had to work every other time, so it's great to get out there and check it all out. But, hey, what a great venue, what a great day. There's something for everyone to do here today. John, a big field in the Nitro Box today. Yeah, we've got five or six of them in there today. That seems like it's a lot for this kind of category of racing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's probably the biggest field we've had from a lot of the bikes that used to be on the bitumen and stuff like that have uh, sort of not having around this year, so they put paddle tyres on and they're out here, so it's good. And why do you think people are going from the road to the, to the dirt? Is, is it that uh, popular now, do you think? I think it's all about racing. It's just, it's the next place they can race. If there's no bitumen uh, drags on that season, they can come down to the dirt and race. It's, it's just as much fun. Sludge, tell us about your race bike. Um, we got a Nitro Harley. Um, Terry Taylor helped us build her up. We've, um, this is our first year in Nitro. We've gone to top fuel. Um, so it's a bit of a learning curve, a bit of fun. Um, and a wild, insane ride. This is quite a good uh, program idea, I guess, giving people a chance to run their bikes in, to make changes, and then get ready for the elimination rounds. Absolutely. Look, you know, you, you need to have a few trials with these. They're a, they're a temperamental machine, some of these motorcycles. And to, to get into the finals, you need to finally tune them. And, you know, to have three or four runs beforehand to get all the, all the tweaks out of it, to get it going for the, for the last run, yeah, it's, a, it's a great idea. So what's the category that you're actually racing in? Uh, this one's running in uh, Modified Harley, which is basically a, a street-type bike with knobby tyres or paddle tyres on it. What's it like when you're actually queued up there waiting for the lights and the sound of the crowd and the bikes and the dirt everywhere? How, how do you feel when you take off? Well, naturally, you always get nervous, but the idea of it is, is just to hit the throttle full steam ahead and drop the clutch and hope you get there first. What'll he win if he um, actually wins at the end of the night? Oh, I think just a trophy and a bit of glory, mate. And that's all we need. So Summer Nats, West Isle and Ben Dunes. One thing they have in common is these great safe burnout pads for young blokes just to blow off a bit of steam. It makes sense to have a specialised uh, burnout pad um, in a safe environment rather than have young blokes doing it on the street. Definitely, that, that was one of our main goals, building the pad, was to put that forward. I mean, there's so many things around the hoon walls now and stuff like that. Here's somewhere people can come, $100, beat a car up all day in a safe environment. Do you get much feedback from the families? Absolutely, most of the families that talk to us uh, are wrapped that their kids are not on the streets doing the burnouts, getting their cars seized. They know that we keep everyone under control, so it's a good thing. What is it like when you get out in the ring? Hey, when you get out there, it's like nothing else. Just go hell for leather, eh? It's beautiful. So do you aim to blow your tyres out or make more smoke? Uh, every time and more smoke. What's the attraction? Oh, there's big skids and a good time out there. So how far are you prepared to go with your vehicle? I'll blow it up if I have to. Fully caged, nice grandstand, very safe. You know, you, I don't think if anything happened, no one's going to get hurt out there. It's a very, very safe environment. Very good. <laughs>